So which cybersecurity is right? The things I hear and the solutions I hear for cybersecurity are so different. So one must be right and thus all the others wrong. Is that the case? Cybersecurity is one of those practices that really spans the entire business environment. There are many different uses and best practices of use, and as many as there are business environments and business models. What is right for one business may not be for another, and it may be wrong or not adequate for another as well. So often, companies will hire a consultant to come in and tell them what to do. And what they'll hear is relatively the same thing. Manage your users, user accounts, permissions. Protect customer data and personally identifying information. Monitor your network. Know what the traffic is. Keep track of it. Inspect it. Look for anomalies. And install malware protection. Make sure you're catching the things that are bad. What you come to the conclusion of is cybersecurity is all about data and information. Is that correct? Cybersecurity is really about controlling digital actions and controlling them the same as we do with physical actions in the real world. We start to look at cybersecurity in different business models. Different industries have varying primary concerns and focus for security in general. Banking operations, the transaction integrity, the who, what, when, where, and why of the transaction is the most important and in the integrity of those transactions at different times and different places. But they might not necessarily care who sees the transaction. Usually on banking networks, everybody that has access is allowed to see all the transactions. Just want to make sure that the people and the people who have access to them don't change them and haven't changed them. Medical and healthcare industry care about individual privacy the most, protecting the contents of those medical records. But transaction integrity is not really that much of a concern because all transactions and the integrity of the information are done by people. And the people aspect of it has control over all the transactions. So really then protecting the individual privacy and the content is the biggest concern. When you get to the pharmaceutical industry, which is really a spur off of the medical industry, product authentication is the most important. They care the most that these products are exactly what they you think they are. I mean, there's very few different types of sizes, shapes of pills and colors. How do you know that you're getting the right one when you open up that bottle? This type of security and the whole environment around pharmaceutical control cares more about the product authentication and then the logistics of that authentication and making sure that from end to end that they are controlled. As well, you still have that individual privacy piece where it interfaces with the medical and healthcare industry. You look at the credit card industry, privacy protection is still large, but self-governance and the internal controls of those credit card numbers and those large logistics of housing different information for different people. As we look at Target lost all the credit cards, the internal process they had for controlling that was actually at fault, and that's where they needed to focus their security and maybe less so on some of the systems and the network controls and looking at the things going across the network, but controlling the logistics and the process of keeping track of them. In critical infrastructure, electronic operations control things in the physical real world. We care more about trusted communications. If you're operating an electromechanical piece of equipment, a robotics or a breaker out there on the distribution lines, you care that they are operated in sequence. So two mechanical operations might be required one done before the other and completed in sequence and in a timed related sequence. You have to know that one, you trusted the communications, you trusted the network, and that they were done in the time required for that transaction to have happened. And they always have to be available. The electric grid can't go down. So these pieces of security are the primary concern for critical infrastructure environments. They are not as concerned 
with the transaction integrity, even though between machines that's part of the trusted communication on a micro level. That's not at a level where people need to be involved. In software and media, you don't really care about the transaction. They're giving this to everybody. They don't care about the confidentiality of it. They're, again, they're giving it to everybody. But making sure that the people, the end users, use it in the manner that they want them to and prevent them from copying and theft is a big focus and the biggest focus for cybersecurity in the software and media industry. In the shipping, we go back to transaction integrity, but more so for accountability and the transfer of accountability and ownership from one place to the next, and then tracking. So the logging and the keeping track of and the logistics required with being able to 100% positively keep track of where things are at becomes the primary focus of that industry. They're not concerned with integrity. For the most part, you can put anything on the label and they'll ship it to that address or attempt to. They're not really looking at who sees it and who keeps it to themselves or not. And they're not as concerned with trust as they have so many moving parts. As long as you look at the intersection between the moving pieces and account for here, account for there, and then do an inventory of what's in between, which is the logging and tracking piece. Look at government. Information security is the most important. InfoSec, you hear me refer to it a lot. And then the use of that information, the detection, use detection, and the activity monitoring. So who's used it, who had access to it, and then monitoring what they did and trends and patterns. So you'll see a lot of boundary management in government where they're looking at the networks, the flow, the data, and real time who actually is into and what they're into because the data and the access to the data is the most important piece of security for their focus. And finally, service and distribution networks, kind of like your direct TV or your internet provider or your mobile phone type of thing, they're more concerned with channel protection and user and system trust. So identifying that the channel between the provider and the end user is intact and that nobody's listening or able to get into it. And then verifying a big part of channel is who's, they know the sending end is them, but the receiving end, they have, actually have a device in a customer's hand. So you have to have trust for a device that's in an untrusted environment. And that's a big focus of this type of security feature and this, this uh, needs for this industry, as well as warranty and support enforcement. So being able to know who has what subscription, whether they have it or not, and then honoring whatever contract contractual agreements were done and needed in warranty and not providing more than contractually agreed is the focus of this particular industry. And you can see now that each one of these industries we went through really had an entirely different focus and different concerns when it came to cybersecurity. But cybersecurity is all about the business. It's not really a technical function. There is technical pieces, but they're very minor. Cybersecurity really fits into all the business pieces. The business needs define which cybersecurity components that an organization focuses on or even cares about with related to what they're going to spend their money on. To push one business model security into every business model doesn't make sense. You see this happening a lot, though, where especially because InfoSec is very well developed and a lot of people come from that background because government was the first to kind of put security emphasis on security. They try to push that model into every other business model down the line. Cybersecurity is about controlling the digital actions we do the same as we would physical actions in the real world. And everywhere there's actions we that we need to control that make the most sense to our business model, those are the actions we're going to focus on. So we focus on a common management framework with the pieces relevant to a particular business model implemented by that perspective business model, pull together more of a commonality focus instead of trying to put the same focus on every business for cybersecurity. 
want to accent portions of a framework that fit that particular business model and the needs of that business or market and maintain space holders for the portions which are less relevant at that particular time for that business model. Build awareness around how they all fit together and how they all work together. That is what the security management framework focuses on, how to pull from a business perspective all these pieces together.